G'day guys, this is Rob from trayoutlaw.com.au and welcome back to this week's fly tying video. In today's video we're going to be tying the Tabernas dry fly. It's a parachute sedge pattern, uh, one that was requested by one of our viewers. Of course if you have any flies you want requested, by all means get in touch, I'll see what I can do. While we're talking about that, if you like what you see, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. There's always going to be new content coming up uh, and we're always happy to try and get patterns that work for Australian fly tires and show you guys how to tie them. So this pattern is fantastic for fishing in the northeastern streams of Victoria and the, uh, the low areas of New South Wales when the bogo moths are about. It is a big, buggy, scruffy moth slash caddis style pattern and in the, uh, the later summer when those bogo moths are about the fish just can't help themselves. So. Without further ado, let's get started. To begin with, we are taking a pair of hackle pliers, one with the uh, flat arms to it, and they are going to be hung over our hook jaws, just there, and left for later on. We'll come to that. There's a good reason why they go on, and they need to be put on before the hook and the thread's applied. So don't forget to do that to start with. Then we'll take an AREX FW500 hook. Brilliant dry fly hook, these. Um, very, very tough. You can give them a lot of punishment and they'll, they'll stand up to even very big fish. So today we're tying in a size 10 because this is a, a pattern that really works as a, in Victoria as a large dry fly. Of course, you can tie them smaller or bigger if you uh, really want to go for that big, bad, and ugly look. Then it's Vivas Ador in brown. You can use the rusty brown. You can use black. You can use just about any color you want. It's all going to be hidden underneath the materials. Probably best not to use anything too bright, but uh, the brown is a, sort of my go-to for so many of these patterns. Once we've got that thread on the hook, we bring it down to the uh, bend in the hook and we're going to put a dubbing on the body that's going to be premium possum dubbing from Tywell in the natural light that's the uh, the lightest color that they do start off with some Overton's wonder wax on the thread just to get that going and then we'll come in bit by bit forming a nice thin dubbing needle nice and tight so that we're not trapping too much air in there that way we can get a nice firm wrap on the hook shank so we'll start that off without hitting the camera on the way around and just start working that up the hook shank as we go remember don't put too much dubbing on the thread to begin with it's easy to add more. It's not so easy to take it off when you apply too much dubbing. It's better to keep building that needle as you go until you get the right amount. So I'm going to bring that up. And having said that, I put too much on. That's all right. I'm going to bring that up to just behind the. about a quarter of an inch behind the hook eye. Like so. Next, we are going to build the wing. The wing comes in two parts. There's an under wing and a top wing. You'll see this pattern tied with a number of materials. Possum is used a lot for the wing um, and for the underbody, which is why I've started off with possum. This is my version of the fly. Obviously, there are variations. Um, a lot of people use CDC as the underwing, but I like the concept of possum, especially given it's an Australian, going to be used in Australian waters. So we're sticking with possum for the underwing. For that, we take a possum tail that has been bleached, which we have available on the trout law site, um, and we take out a small section 
like so and trim that away with that in our hand we're not going to stack this it doesn't really stack very well like traditional hair we're just going to hand stack it so just preen out any of the really long fibers at that end and hold this way and pull out the fluffy stuff from the other end and then we're left the hand stacked possum hair with this we want to go about almost two hook shanks in length maybe a little over one and a half so that it's extending out beyond the back of the of the hook shank itself so we measure that up transfer to the other hand and then trim that off then before tying this on we're going to take our bobbin thumb and forefinger and push forward with our forefinger to spin the bobbin counterclockwise that will open up the thread and cause it as you see as I let, let go it wants to jump backwards rather than jumping forwards which makes it a lot easier as you go over that you can see the thread jumps back and holds on to the wing so a couple of wraps loosely then pull up to tighten and then we can firmly bind that down and trim off any of those little excess fluffies that have come out the front the next part of the wing the overwing we are using Sika deer hair this is a Japanese deer or spotted deer um, again you can find this in our website available it's a much finer deer hair than a lot of other ones um, it is also darker in tone it doesn't have that really consistent light tips to them um, this very wiry hair works really well for these sort of overbodies it also works well for for <clears throat> wings on salmon flies and, and similar so we're going to just take a clump of that hair cut it away from the hide and then that goes in to the hair stacker actually before we do that again pull out the pull out the fluffies you can use your, a comb for this you can do it by hand then into the stacker with that hair and on the bench or you can stack it on your thumb or knuckle like that when we open it up all of our tips are nice and aligned take them out of the stacker and we'll transfer it to our right hand line it up just short of where that possum comes out you want a little bit more possum sticking out the back transfer to the other hand so we know where and then cut it off at the right length again twisting that bobbin bring that hair in and a couple of loose wraps pull it up tight then we can bind down hard you'll see this is going to flare a bit when I release it that's all right holding it <clears throat> holding it down in position it's going to bind over that head and place a couple of loose wraps at the back like so not putting a lot of pressure down on those then come forward 
and a couple of tighter wraps. Those loose wraps are going to help hold that wing down rather than letting it flare out. Now it comes to the parachute post. Obviously this being a parachute hacker we need a post. For that we're using the Lost Fly Brightwing. Fantastic product this, available in a number of colours. Great for the poor eyesight, low light. It really is bright, lives up to its name. So I've cut a section. I'm taking the bend in the middle and bring that around our thread. Lift it up on top of the fly like so. The position we want and then a couple more wraps over the center and we're ready to wrap that now taking our hackle pliers that we applied before we're going to lift them up and hang them over our wing like that Great little idea for any of you tying any parachute fly that has a flat wing. So the Tabernas, of course, or PMXs, or any of those sort of, Madam Xs, any of those sort of flies. Keeps that wing down, out of the way, so you're allowed, able to work around when wrapping your post and the parachute itself. You can, I've, you know, I've seen other people run their thread over it. Or rubber bands or something like that problem is running thread into that or anything fine into that hair tends to pinch it bite it cause it to kink and then it ends up sitting upright whereas these hacker pliers like that don't put any undue pressure on it and just hold it out of the way so to create our parachute I hold the fibers up in my left hand and then it's transferred to my right hand and then it's just a matter of passing that bobbin around After we've done a few, we'll come down and put a secure wrap around the hook shank again, just to take the tension. And then we can really come back in and start wrapping the, the hackle post right down. So I wanna get about a quarter inch of the post wrapped here. Get it nice and firm and then finish up with a couple of firm wraps around the hook shank again. That way if you're pulling on the thread it's not going to pull that post over it's putting the pressure on the shank. <clears throat> Next we take our hackle feather. This is a whiting gold grade grizzly feather from a saddle, <coughs> excuse me. We have whiting saddles available in the store. We also have the whiting 100 packs or packs from the Lost Fly, which have a mixture of feathers in it. That's where this one's come from, in fact. So you get a number of sizes, a number of colors, perfect for tying dry flies without having to buy an entire saddle. From this, we're just gonna strip off And a half an inch of the fibers on both sides of that to reveal the stem and then on the right side I'm going to strip away a few more because that's the side that's going to wrap onto the post so 
we're just going to tie that feather in to the front side of the hook shank like so properly binding that in and a wrap behind then pulling that up alongside the hackle post and then passing the bobbin over a couple of times behind to secure the hackle in place. We'll now start wrapping up the post with the feathers at the same time. Basically securing our hackle feathers to the post to the very top and then bringing our thread back down again and a couple of wraps around the hook shank to secure it now we just need to complete the thorax here before we wrap this parachute. We can get our hack pliers out of the way for now. And we go back to the possum dubbing. A little fine noodle, which will just allow us to build up the thorax and the head of the fly before we wrap our hackle. So, a couple of wraps in front of the post. A couple of wraps behind the post. I'm just coming with a little, we'll just extend that noodle a little bit, get a bit more length on it so we can build the head properly. Again, making sure that it's a nice fine dubbing noodle no lumps or clumps in it they just won't wrap properly and a couple more wraps behind that too is going to help hold that wing down and then we come forward and a couple more wraps there This stage we can just come in and pop a half hitch over the eye that secures that thread it's not going anywhere and now we can worry about wrapping the hackle so back to our hackle here pop our hackle pliers over the, the wing again so that's out of the way and then holding holding our post securely we start wrapping around the post from the top working our way down A little bit difficult passing the hackle from hand to hand and the post from hand to hand you kind of get used to it after a while once you've done a few of them back and forth until you get that hackle all the way down to the base we'll just do one more wrap there we go once that's down, take our thread over that hackle and around the post, then under the hackle, around the post, 
over the hackle and under. And then pulling that back once around the hook eye <clears throat> and come in with another half hitch. Keeping the tension on this as you wrap it around place the half hitch tool over the hook height tension on the thread just twist the half hitch tool as you pull it up rotating like that and ensures you keep tension on there the whole time so that your hackle is not going to pop out once that's secured you can come in with the scissors trim out the excess hackle then we need to just finish her off grip finish tool come in pull that hackle out of the way so you're not capturing any feathers and a quick whip finish around the hook eye trim the thread now you can seat that parachute properly and trim it down it doesn't need to be super large this stuff stands out from a great distance and if it's actually too tall it throws the balance of the fly off and what has it want to fall over in the water so then it's about done just preen those wing, wings back up and there you have it the tavernas a parachute sedge Brilliant fly for fishing the northeast Victorian streams. Great lighter colour on that underwing. Stiff, bristly, dark overwing. And being a parachute, it sits with that body nicely in the surface film. It doesn't sit too high, yet you can see it a mile off with that little bright post. So there you go. If you are like that please comment like the video and of course subscribe to the channel there's more videos coming up um, and if you're looking to tie this yourself and looking for the materials down there below we'll have in the description a materials list with links to all the products so you can find them on our website and get tying yourself thanks again and we'll do this soon cheers